sum of the first two terms into a sentence in algebra. S2 equals 13. The sum of the first four terms, S4, is 46. And that's all I know. So, I need to figure out which formula to use. And the problem is, is there's lots of unknowns here. So, let's, let's, because I don't know the last term, I'm going to use SN third formula. So, 13 equals 2 divided by 2 twice the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Oh, I know what n is. So that would be 2 minus, because n is 2 in this case, 2 minus 1 is 1d. So I'm going to simplify this, and I get 13 equals 2t1 plus d. Over here, 46 equals 4, because n is 4, 4 divided by 2, twice the first term, plus n minus 1, would be 4 minus 1, so that's 3d. So I'm going to simplify this and get 46 equals, well, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and I'm going to multiply this into the both, so I get 4t1 plus 6 D. So now, from grade 10, we have two equations, two unknowns. The easiest way to solve this is elimination. So, if I multiply this second one by a negative 2, I get negative 26 equals negative 4t1 plus minus... 2d. Elimination works because when you add, it eliminates one of the variables, and we get 20 equals 4d, so d equals 5. That's important. So once I know that d is 5, I can sub it back into, say, this equation right here, and I get 13 equals 2t1 plus 5. Move the 5 over, I get 8 equals 2t1 and t1 equals 4. Now that I know the first term and the difference, I can find the first six terms, which would be 4 and 5 make 9. And I have 13, sorry, 14, 19, 24, 29 is the first six terms. And if I add up the first six terms. I can either add these terms up on my calculator or use the formula and I get 99. All right. An object dropped from the top of a tall building will fall approximately five meters in the first second. So that means they're giving you term one is five, term two is 15, term three is 25, etc. What's the common difference? D is 10. We're adding 10 each time. What's the general term? Remember, this is the formula that we're subbing in and trying to get a simplified version. If the first term is 5 and the common difference is 10, so this is going to be n minus 1. I don't know what that is, but this is 10. So I get 5 plus 10n minus 10. So that simplifies to be 10n minus 5. Right. So what's term 1? Oh, we already figured it out. That is 5. And that should be 5 meters. Term 8. If I sub 8 in for n here, I get 80 minus 5, which is 75 meters. And if I sub 12 in for n, is 120 minus 5 is... 115 meters. The last term in the sequence is 1495. How many terms are there? So if I use the simplified version, it's pretty straightforward because I'm trying to find what n is. So I move the 5 over, I get 1500 equals 10n. So n is 150. Okay.
Okay, so how far will it have fallen in eight seconds? So eight seconds total, that's the key here. So we need to find S8, not term eight. So that is um, the formula, well, we know the last term. We know T8 is 75 from the previous question. So it's gonna be eight divided by two times term one, which is five plus 75. So that's 80 times four, which is 320 meters. Here's a good um, application of sequences. Olympics, Olympics were first held in Athens, 1896. What, is, what are they giving you right there? Term one. And it's held every four years. What are they giving you there? GD is four. So, it says the games were canceled in 1940 and 1944. What were the term numbers for those years? So, basically, they're giving you the value of TN is 1940. That's the ending one. So, we need to actually find what N is. What what Olympic it was. Was it the 10th Olympics, the 12th Olympic, the 15th Olympic? So, we're going to work backwards. So, 1940 is term one, which is 1896, plus n minus one, I don't know what n is, times four. Okay, so I'm going to simplify some things here. So I'm gonna get four n minus four. I'm gonna simplify things even more. Um, so if I go 1896, subtract four is 1892, plus four n. So, and I move the 1892 over, I get 48 equals 4n, so n is 12. So that means um, in the 12th Olympiad, um, it was canceled. And then four years later, it would be the 13th Olympiad. So, um, it's the 12th and 13th year. Or I shouldn't say year, Olympiad. What is the number of the next Summer Olympiad? Some of you guys might remember when um, the next Summer Olympiad is, um, but you could figure it out by doing the multiples of four. But some of you remember that the Summer Olympics, remember this is summer, not winter, was um, in 2016. So recall, Last was 2016, so the next one will be 2020. All right. Boxes are stacked in a store display in the shape of a triangle. The number of boxes in the rows form an arithmetic sequence. There's 41 boxes in the third row from the bottom. So they're giving you T3 is 41, and they're giving you that there's 23 boxes in the 12th row. So. Can you picture that? You go to the superstore or uh, Safeway, they make this display. A lot of times it's like Christmas time, they make like a Santa Claus or they make a, a football at Super Bowl time or very cup time. Anyways, um, so they start with more boxes and they're getting less and less as you go up. So, how many boxes are in the first or the bottom row? Do you remember how to do these when they don't give you the first term? They don't give you the difference. Well, we kind of force this into the first term. So if the third term become, became the first term, uh, what would the 12th term become? Well, it would become the 10th term. So we're gonna say the 10th term is 23, or the value of the 10th term is 23, and that is equal to the first term, which is 41 plus, we know n is then 10, so that's going to be 9D. I move the 41 over, I get negative 18 equals 9D, so that means D equals negative 2. Now, does that make sense that the difference is negative 2? Well, yeah, it's going smaller because you get less and less boxes, right? So we haven't answered the question yet. We still need to find the first term. 
not this uh, made up first term. So let's go back and use uh, the third term. The third term is 41. We don't know what the first term is, but if n is 3, we have 2 times negative 2. So if I move the negative 4 over, I get the first term is 45. Let's find the general term for the sequence now. Remember, that is subbing it into Tn. I do know the first term is 45. I don't know n, so it's n minus 1, but I do know that this is minus 2. So I get Tn equals 45 minus 2n plus 2. So Tn equals 47 minus 2n. So there is my general formula. So what would the maximum possible number of rows be? Well, if we keep on going up, we're going to assume that the first, or sorry, the last row is, is because it's making a triangle, this last row is going to have the one box at the top. So let's go by assumption that the last box is at the top, and we're going to say that 1 equals the first, so that's the TN value. The first term was 45. We don't know what n is, that's what we're trying to find. So plus n minus 1 times minus 2. If I simplify things, I get minus 2n plus 2. 45 and 2 make 47. If I move that over, I get minus 46 equals uh, minus 2n. So n equals 23. So that means the, the maximum possible rows would be 23. If something goofy happens, then we know that the last row doesn't have one and we might start with two because you have to have an, um, a whole number um, rows. Okay, example five. So, bricks are arranged in a row. The number of bricks form an arithmetic sequence. 45 bricks in the fifth row. So, T5 is 45 and 33 bricks in the 11th Row. So T11 is 33. How many bricks in the first row? Well, this is exactly like we just did. So what do we do? We rename um, the first term. And if this went down by 4, then we have to go down by 4. So this is now T7. Yes? Yes? So, we need to know what the D is. So, 33 equals the first term, which is 45, plus, um, because N is 7, oh, I should say N is 7 there, um, it's going to be 6D. So if I subtract 45, I get what? 12 equals 6D. I should say minus 12. And D equals minus 2. So does that make sense to you that it's going down in number? So once we know the common difference, we can go work back. Let's use this for working back. So 45 equals term 1. Plus, because n is 5 there, 4 times minus 2. So that is right here, minus 8. If I move the minus 8 over, I get um, 53 is term 1. All right. So find the number of bricks in the first 11 rows. That means we are finding the sum of 11. Do we know what the 11th term is? Yes, we do. I know it's 33. So term 11 is 33. Term 1 is 53. And my common difference is um, negative 2. Although we don't need to know the common difference if we use the second formula. So that is going to be 11 divided by 2. 53 plus 33. 53 and 33 is 86. 86 divided by 2 is 43. 43 times 11 is 473 bricks. Especially with word problems, make sure you remember your units. All right, 
Students created a trapezoid from the cans they collected from the food bank. They were ten, there were 10 rows in the trapezoid. The bottom row has 100 cans. So T1 is 100. T10 is the final one. Each consecutive row has five fewer, so that means D equals minus five. How many cans were in the trapezoid? So, uh, we do know that there's N is 10. Do we need to know what that last term is? Not if we want to just find S10. And if we use the last term, the last formula, uh, we have everything we need to know. So. 10 divided by 2, twice the first term, so that would be 200, 2 times 100, and then we have to do 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 times minus 5 is minus 45. So 200 minus 45 is 155, and 155 times 5 is 775 cans.